so let's talk about uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, you know facts about the interface okay so an interface can contain any number of methods but all should be abstract methods an interface is written in a file with a java dot java extension as usual with the a class okay again the bytecode of an interface will appear as in a dot class file as as you know as usual as same as the class interface appears in package and their corresponding bytecode file must be in a directory structure that matches the package name okay it's all about um, um, you know it's same as class only but only difference is we define so instead of class a we define interface a okay and the main reason you know um, with the interface is that we can also achieve multiple inheritance through interface how we can achieve multiple interfaces through interface okay let's discuss about that class a okay let's see we can copy those methods from the previous class okay let's copy Better we'll write it once again freshly. Yeah. So class A having a method that is public void display. No, it should be interface here. We are going to achieve multiple inheritance with the interfaces, right? Interface A. And as I said all the methods of interface are abstract whether you define abstract keyword or not all the methods are by default are abstract okay now define another interface b abstract void display Now define a class A implement. If you want to, I don't initiate an interface. If you want to use the interface, you have to use a keyword called implements. Okay, a class implements a interface. A comma B. Okay. Now define a main method. remember we cannot create an object for interfaces however we cannot create an object for the abstract class abstract class in the same way we cannot create an object for the interface okay so the reason is let me uh, keep a note we can not create an object object for interface okay similar to similar to abstract class okay so for the abstract class we cannot create an object the reason is one of one of its method is not implemented okay let's say there is a car there is a car a car has functions like um, you know apply brake apply you know acceleration and um, you know apply steering some some of the methods are some of the functions are that let's say you doesn't know how to apply the brake for a car and without knowing uh, which you are trying to bring a car to the market okay so does anybody buy a car which cannot apply a brake okay so there is no point in you know bringing a car to the market which cannot apply a brake okay in the same way so that's the reason it is not required to create an object for the abstract class okay if any of the function or any of the method is not implemented okay so for that class creating an object is you uh, know it's it's meaningless okay that's the reason for the abstract class we cannot create an object 
okay in the same way interface will be having only abstract method okay so in that case for the interface also we cannot create any object so this is very important for the abstract class and for the interface we cannot create an ob an object the reason is it contains abstract methods it contains a method which doesn't provide any implementation okay so in a real time example if you want to say let's say a car is having which which is having multiple functionalities such as apply brake and apply acceleration but we doesn't know how to apply the brake and that's the reason i i was not implemented this functionality for a car and we manufacture the car and we bring to the market now nobody is going to buy the car which cannot apply a brake okay so it's pointless to you know manufacture a car which cannot be apply a brake right so in the same way for abstract class and interface which contains abstract methods a methods which doesn't have any body so that's the reason we cannot create an object for interface and abstract this is very important now i created a in this comes to the point i created a, an object for class a class a, a equal to new a that's well and good i say a dot display okay so tell me one thing if i if i implement okay i'll be getting these methods into class a okay so if i don't implement a abstract method the class becomes again abstract class so i have to define a method here yeah yeah now tell me uh, what's going to happen which method will be invoked and what will be printed yeah anybody can please answer me you guys are there um, yeah and i am in a yes okay the reason is and there is no choice right there is no reason because there is no choice okay so these two are abstract methods these two are abstract methods okay so you define this method or this method doesn't matter right you just simply overriding any of the method okay doesn't matter from where we are taking this method from where we are taking this display method from a or from b okay doesn't matter because both doesn't have a body okay and both are as it is same okay and i'm defining this display method and i am you know making as this out uh, you know i am in a and when i create an object for a and i say a dot display yes this method will be invoked okay if i don't define this method what happens will this program compile or not if it is not compiled why it is not compiled if it is compiled what is the output I don't think it will compile to there. Uh, yeah, the reason. Because we are not giving like print ln command. We are not giving it right. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because it will method is not defined. Okay. Extra. I'm just commenting this one. Now tell me what is happening. If you don't give that, it will be like an abstract method, right? So. exactly exactly you you came to the point okay so when i implement a comma b i'll be having so this particular class a is trying to this particular class a will be inheriting you know extends or implements both are same you know when uh, in the case of uh, uh, inheriting the properties of parent class okay class a will be inheriting the properties of uh, interface a and interface b in this case we are having uh, you know both of them are same methods so i'll be getting a public abstract void display will be you know will be here public void abstract display 
which will not be visible to us but so as it inherits as it inherits a and b as it implements a and b so a will be having access to this public void display abstract method okay so in this case if a class contains at least one single abstract method the class has to be declared as abstract when you declare a class as abstract we cannot create an object for it right so that's the reason it will not be compiled you just try it okay at your end i request you to try this program and see whether i told you earlier once yes. uh, like immediately yes. after finishing the abstract class mm. i tried writing a program on that but it yes. did not display anything like is the the console screen was blank uh, can you repeat more and again what we have defined no uh, in like you took okay. the class Let, let's one second let's one second let's uh, uh, complete this uh, point and we'll come to okay. your uh, uh, doubts okay yeah. so this is how we can achieve multiple inheritance through interfaces okay i define interface a and interface b with the same method okay both are abstract and i implement a comma b so a class can implement multiple in interfaces a class can implement multiple interfaces like i said a comma b you can define c d like that okay so a class can implement multiple interfaces that's one point you need to remember so when i implement a comma b and i am overriding a method uh, display when i override i don't need to keep abstract here i'm overriding a method display and i'm printing i am in a when i define a object for a and a dot display this particular method will be invoked there is no ambiguity and this is how we are going to achieve multiple inheritance in java through interfaces okay so this is one point and let's talk about uh, anything else to be covered in interfaces okay one more point let's say there is interface interface a and interface b and if you want to if you want to extend a and b okay extend a. when you are when a interface is trying to when a interface is trying to uh inherit a and b we have to use the keyword extends okay interface note interface cannot extend a class okay this is one thing class a implements a b comma c in the same way class will implements interfaces okay class will inter class will implements okay whereas interfaces will extends interfaces will extends interfaces okay so these two things you need to remember from the above example i defined two interfaces a and b okay let's say i define two interfaces b comma c okay let's see. so class a implements b comma c and interface d implements b comma c okay so class always implements some um, interfaces and interface will always extends another interfaces okay so this is one point you need to remember so that's about interfaces and how a interface uh, can implement you know can achieve um, multiple inheritance in java and all the stuff